going on Instagram. I just wanted to come live to you all here this evening real quick and just record this. So I was actually at the gym, so this is my gym hat. So typically if I get on here with this on, it's typically right after I get home from the gym. And you know, I've actually been at this gym now since the end of October, which is kind of interesting. But what's interesting is in their cardio area, they have about 20 TVs that are right in front of it. So here at like my home, I don't really watch a ton of TV unless it's like football for now, and then that'll soon end and then I'll have nothing to watch. Um, but I do a lot of reading and, you know, a lot of YouTube and a lot of different modules and stuff to learn from online. And that's what I spend most of my time doing. But when I go to the gym, that's when I actually get, like, exposed to, like, the news and, like, what's going on. And, you know, it really gets me just fired up because I was actually texting one of my buddies because they post all this, this stuff about health and you can't hear what they're saying. But I just see this thing come across the screen that says, in Kentucky... There's more people dying from overdoses of drugs than automobile accident fatalities, which is, like, insane. And it's really, really sad. Like, my heart goes out to those families because, you know, a lot of people here in just in general in this country are looking for answers to their health problems. And they, they think it's in a medication bottle. It's not their fault because they don't know of a different solution. And that's why I'm happy to be here so I can offer them a, a different solution, a better solution, and offer them true correction to their health problems. Because you watch these pharmaceutical commercials, like I've still yet to see one that offers true correction to someone's health problems. Like all they market is 24 hour and 48 hour relief. Like why settle for relief when you can get true correction to your health problems? And you know, what's interesting too is how they market it. It's, it's almost comical if you really sit back and think about it. They show like, this person walking through this amazing flower field or, you know, they're just with a loved one. And they're doing all this fun stuff. And at the end, you hear them just ran off all these side effects. Like your eyes will bleed out. Like your kidney falls apart. Your liver gets destroyed. You could possibly have a heart attack. You could have migraine seizures. And it just goes into like all this stuff. And it's like, man, why don't you show that in your commercials, right? And it's like true if you really think about it. Like... It's what's really happening. And what I always encourage people to is if we can break it down logically, like we know medications aren't the solution to our problem. And what I mean by that is like we don't look at someone that has their medicine cabinet full and be like, wow, I cannot wait to be that healthy when my, medic my medication cabinet's that full. I can't wait to be that healthy. Like we don't say that, but that's what our actions follow up with, though. If we really look at it, that's what we're doing. Yep, starts out with ibuprofen. We have this pain. Then all of a sudden we start to have... One of the side effects from ibuprofen, and then we have to take another medication for that side effect, and then the next medication causes a side effect too, and we have to take a medication for that. Next thing we know, we're on the, all these medications. And that's how it goes. It just happens over time. And, you know, and just another thing to encourage people is we know that medications aren't the solution to our health problems. If they were, we could give our children from birth all these medications as they're just like we give them vitamins as a part of their daily intake of food. And they would never experience sickness. But we know that's not a logical answer, but yet we still do this to ourselves. Like, and it's sad. And I'm not saying it like I'm higher. I was brought up in the same medical model, and that's where I thought health came from. I was like, oh, man, I need NyQuil, I need DayQuil, I need ZQuil. I need all this Quill stuff and ibuprofen. And I was brought up in that model for 22 years, and now it's, I'm going on five years actually being brought up in a healthcare model, a true healthcare model where, you know, where I know where health comes from, how to get it, and how to maintain it. And that's very, very important. And I want that for everyone. And that's why I moved to Lexington. Like, that's why I moved away from all my family and friends to Lexington, Kentucky. And that's why I get on here. It's not because I love hearing my voice <laughs> as much as some people may think that. But it's really just because I want everyone to know that. Like, I, I feel like it would be extremely selfish of me to know where health comes from. And a lot of people are looking for that answer and for me to hold that to myself and not get on here every night and try to educate people. Even if one person sees this and they start to think a little bit differently on their health and they start to ask questions and it helps change their family's lives just by thinking differently about health. Like this is a total win. I would gladly get on here 365 days out of the year with zero views, zero likes, zero followers gained from it if just one person if, if it changed their family's life, and I think that's so stinking valuable, 
And that's why I get so fired up about this. And that's why I'm here. It's like, man, if I can just get my doors open, if I can just start serving these people and showing them how amazing their bodies truly are, like they're designed to function, like they're designed to function at extremely high levels, carry out every single function of your body. I have still yet to see anyone comment on any of these to name a system or a function that the nervous system doesn't carry out or have an effect on, right? And we never get it assessed. Like the majority of us have never had that assessed for how well it functions. And that's what's amazing about my job is I facilitate healing. There's no doctor, there's no medication, there's no injection. There's nothing that can restore health except for that which creates life, which is innate intelligence, which is resides in your nervous system that carries out proper function, your heart beating, your lungs breathing, you know, your body producing adrenaline when a bear chases you, all that stuff that you don't think about on a regular basis, your blood flowing through your circulatory system, right? You're creating new blood cells every 120 days. Like I could go on and on about how amazing your body is. And you don't have to think about that. And your body does that automatically. And that's the same intelligence recognized when the sperm swam up to the egg and they came together and they divide, 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 formed a beautiful baby after a nine month period of time. And that was all done by the mother, right? It wasn't, we didn't give credit to medicine. We didn't give credit to injections or any of this other stuff. Like that's how amazing our bodies are. And like women, especially like, like that's amazing. Like that's one of the most fascinating things to me still in this world is how in the world from like two cells, like we form a human being. Like if you explain that to an alien, like, all right, like this person's going to inject in fluid into this person and then nine months later, that's going to create a life. Like, you would think they're on, like, they're just, like, that would be insane. Like, the way, like, that, and the, and the fact that we think that our bodies can't heal itself, yet it takes a fluid, one cell from a fluid, connects it with an egg, takes it through a hostile environment, and then gives that those cells, after they divide and divide and divide, nutrients to survive for nine months inside of a belly or a uterus. And then, voila, nine months later, you see this beautiful baby. But yet, there's no way that the human body could heal itself. Like, that's just crazy to me. And that's what I want to just, like, encourage people. I just want I just want people to know that, like, your bodies aren't made flawed or deficient in any way. If there's an obstruction in your nervous system, I can guarantee your body's not going to function at its best. Right? And if there's pressure on your nervous system, those nerves could be going to your heart, your lungs, your adrenals, your circulatory system. It could be going to your muscles in your neck, your back, your mid-back, down your legs, to your feet. Like the nerves go to everything. Like your gallbladder, your appendix, everything. Like it controls everything. And if it's obstructed, your body's not going to function at its best. And then... Just to think about it logically, how are you supposed to know about that unless your body doesn't, unless your body, like if your body doesn't create a symptom, are you ever going to take action? No. Like it's good that your body creates a symptom. It's like, oh crap, like I should probably do something now. And that's what motivates people to take action in their health. It's just a matter if they're taking the correct action or not. And the correct action isn't in a medication bottle. It's not in an injection. It's not in cutting parts of the body out, Right. It's in restoring proper function to that nervous system, allowing your body to function properly, right? So I'm just very, very passionate about helping people just get that. I feel very selfish and very grateful that I have that education that I've been brought up in both models, but I've seen the true healthcare model and how that helps people. I've seen it, I've seen it for three years of my life, going to all these offices and just seeing it like, like I didn't have to believe it. I could see it. Like we've seen like crazy things and you know, like I've seen people carried into an office and then with a couple months of care, they're walking and they're starting to talk again. Like they were literally vegetables and that's not because we healed them. It's because their body, we restored proper function to their body and their body started to heal over time. And like your body's capable of the same thing. And I just, I just want people to know that like your bodies are amazing. They can self heal. Like you don't have to go through life with the symptoms and dysfunctions. And I feel just extremely grateful and almost like it'd be selfish of me to know all this information and not want to share it with people because I know people are looking for that answer 
And that's why I moved to a community where I don't know anyone because that means that everyone I talk to probably doesn't know this. And, you know, I just, I just, like, it's just my passion. And that's what I share with people too. And I'll close out here real quick is that, like, for me, like, being here and seeing that stuff, it just motivates me because I know that that's not going to be the case while I'm here. Like, we're going to change healthcare. We're going to bring true healthcare to this state. We're going to bring it to Lexington, Kentucky. And it may not be this year, may not be the next five years, may not be the next 10 years, it may not be the next 20 years where that tipping point happens. It may not be the next 50 years, but I guarantee you it will happen. And it doesn't just come from me. It comes from people becoming educated and learning how their body functions. And when it's not functioning properly, why is that? And how can we actually make true correction instead of just putting band-aids over it and masking the symptoms and knowing that the problem is still there and we never corrected it. So it's a community effort and that's why I'm excited to be here because I know people are looking for that answer and I know when people find that answer, they're going to be just as excited to share it with people as I am. So I hope you all have a great rest of your night. If you guys have questions, again, comment. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on Twitter, a podcast. Um, i trying to think. YouTube, I need to work on that. I need to get some stuff uploaded there. I have it on IGTV and you can text me, call me, whatever it is, just get a hold of me. Um, I'd love to help you in any way that I can. And I'm excited to continue to just grow on this journey with you all and just learn more about health and how our body works and just more of how I can serve you and just grow alongside you guys. Have a great evening, everyone. I look forward to seeing you all soon.